Are you a person who cherishes good food but prefers to keep things easy and relaxed? <laughs> yeah, so do I. Chef Randy is back with the recipe called the Lazy Man's Fondue. So we're going to keep the theme with our winter backyard cooking going. And Chef, I have to admit something to you. We just kind of did a little fondue in studio by Julia Grieve. So we're kind of, it's sort of a fondue off. Now she says she doesn't want to go head to head with the chef, but I think that maybe we should be looking at the differences in these recipes. So how lazy is this recipe, chef? Listen, I am mailing this one in. We knew it was an outdoor <laughs> shoot. We knew it was gonna be cold. I'd be like, I'm gonna make something so easy that anybody can make it. Okay, so this is gonna be super easy. I'm looking at your spread. It's already looking actually really good, like better than the spread we had in studio. So I think you're doing really well. <laughs> okay. How do we start? <laughs> <laughs> We're not, are you really gonna make this a competition? This isn't a competition. We're just having some fun out here. And I think cheese always brings the fun. If you really wanna get serious about it though, grab yourself a double cream and not a single cream because the fat level's higher. And if you're to be lazy, you might as well be flavorful. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our double brie, double cream brie, and we're just gonna shave the top off of this baby, right? And you wanna go as, thin as possible you can leave a little bit of it on you just want kind of the the heat to get to it but you don't want to lose any of the cheese i gotta be honest so with then, you i what was we're not do... expecting you to use a brie for this i don't think i've seen a fondue oh. with brie oh well technically speaking it's not a fondue okay it just acts like a lazy man's fondue i love yeah. it i'm all for it but it'll give you the same effect right yeah i think this is something you could execute trace okay then we're going to go with some chopped up garlic you're just going to kind of slide that on top wherever you want like that and it's okay if it's a little bit larger because it's going to go into the oven for some time right we're gonna i like a that you bit just threw with the some shadiest rosemary. piece of shade there and then just kept moving on it's like yeah you know what tracy it's so easy i think you could do it <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, come on now. We all know that you lean on that side of the kitchen. You're like, Leo does the cooking. I don't do it. This is something I was simply saying that you could do for Leo. Yeah, okay. And he would you. be impressed. Yes, he would. <laughs> Not shade, not shade. <laughs> then we're just gonna throw it into a small pan. If the brie comes in one of those really nice expensive wooden things, you can leave it right in there. You don't have to throw it into the pan. You just put it on a baking tray then. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some of the Hamptons finest. This is a rosé and just a little drizzle on top like that. Mm -hmm. Because we're outside, we'll probably, you know. Just a little, yeah. Little just, to make, just to make sure it's good, you know, <laughs> you don't want to go off. And a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> Delish. I'm happy to tell everyone it's not off, it's very tasty, yes. What you're gonna do is you're gonna roast this in the oven for 30 minutes at 300 degrees. Okay. What do you think the result's gonna be, Tracy? I think it's gonna be the best piece of double cream brie I've ever seen. Like that is gonna be <laughs> melty goodness after 30 minutes? Oh, yes. When you jiggle it, look at the jiggle. Oh, the jiggle. Oh. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. And I know you're clapping, and I really, really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart, but I didn't do anything, anybody. I just <laughs> bought the cheese. Let's be brutally honest here, right? <laughs> now, where you can separate yourself from everybody else is obviously what you're going to do with the cheese now. I got some bagels here, some everything bagels. I've got some prosciutto, some meat sticks for the kids. Got little gherkins, got some olives, some veggies. And you can be healthy and go with the broccoli and carrots. Or you can just double right down and take the prosciutto and wrap it with a meat stick mm. like this. All right. You know, double down on it. And then you can just go right into this. And oh, you just yeah. ready, pull it apart. Dinner is served. Oh, Outdoor winter dinner is oh, served. My God, Tracy, I'm going into this. You got to, you got to take the yeah, rest of the segment. Yeah, you go in, you go in, and but, but I want you to stay there because Julia, Julia, if you can hear me, come on out here. Come on out here. Mm. So it's not even about the fondue. It's not even about the fondue. I want to talk to you about something else. Okay, okay. Did we not just do a full, um, like, segment? We started the show with a segment on dressing proper for the winter, right? Yes. 
Now, this dude is from Barrie, which if you don't know Ontario, it's north of <laughs> Toronto, a good hour and a half north of Toronto. He should know a thing or two about dressing for the winter. Yes. Look at what Randy's wearing. I know. Okay, but he looks so good. He looks so good. good. He looks so good. But oh, Randy, do you even own gloves, Randy? <laughs> do you have earmuffs? Do you have a toque? Do you have shoes that aren't sneakers? He's wearing sneakers. <laughs> you couldn't see that. I could see that. He's wearing white sneakers. See? Oh, my God, Randy! Randy felt it. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, my God. I think Randy must it's be like 17, 17 years old. It's oh, my God. Sucks. It's like two degrees out here. It's, it's barely <laughs> snowing. It's almost rain. And the breeze keeping me warm. Said like a true Canadian. We love you, Chef Randy. We love you too, Julie.